Hey guys, what's up? It's the Banana Crew and we... Game! Woo! Woo. I'm Wigwam. I'm Hippie. And I'm Kelly. Uh, wow. Rude. Gross. I was trying to do you that think... when somebody rudely interrupted me with the intro. You think they want to hear that? <laughs> That's life. <laughs> That's life for you. Life sucks, then you die. This week our green screen theme is brought to us by the Austrian kangaroo. He picked large animals being scared by slightly smaller animals. Like how small are we talking here? Like a kitten and a tiger, or like... So, Austrian Kangaroo, you will win two copies of Orion Prelude. Enjoy your lightsaber dinosaur fights. You better enjoy it. <laughs> or else. We're people. coming to get you. If you would like to win a copy of Eldridge, give us a green screen theme down below in the comments section, and you will win a wonderful copy of the game Eldridge, a game we played last week. You can go watch it if you don't know what it is. And then come back. Leave your wonderfully awesome inspired green screen themes in the comments. Hey everybody, it's Kelly here to bring you this week's Indie Spotlight. This week we're going to talk about a game called Space Grunts. Space Grunts is a turn-based action game, but don't shy away from it just because you heard the word turn-based. All action happens pretty quickly. The only time things aren't going is when you're deciding what to do next. It does stay true to its turn-based roots. Whenever you make a move, the enemies will move as well, whether that's shooting or changing a gun. Base Grunts is made by Orange Pixel and will come out on PC, Mac, and Linux on September 15th through Steam. It's only like $7, so it's really not that expensive. There isn't much in the way of music with this game, so you definitely have to bring your own music for this one. Hello everybody, it's me. Your favorite, here to bring you the weekly schedule. Lisa on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, the usual. Game is still fucked up, game is still super sad. In fact, it gets even sadder. Tuesday we're bringing you another one of those fancy first looks that you love so much. We're playing the Aquatic Adventures of the Last Human, kind of like Planet of the Apes, but maybe like Planet of the Dolphins instead. Friday we're playing some terrible game that Hippie made me play about a cube that sucks dick, and I hate it, and it sucks. And on Sunday we're bringing you more Towerfall, we're playing the DLC this time, so one more Towerfall for you. Lots of cool bow and arrow action, so for all you Legolas fans out there, we get you covered. Hey guys, it's Hippie here bringing you some great advice on how to get into a fantastic situation and sling, just like me. Number one, make sure you follow work, especially on your back, ensuring that your shoulder will pop out of place. Number two, start climbing trees as a hobby, but make sure you're bad at it. And then go sledding, and then climb a tree on the same day, ensuring that your shoulder will falter under the weight of your own body and come out of place again. Number three, at this stage, your shoulder's gonna be pretty vulnerable, so just start pointing everywhere but in all seriousness, kids, don't do any of that stuff, and stay safe. I've been Hippie, with what I thought would be great advice. Well guys, thank you for joining us for another delightful crew meeting. Hope you liked it. It was we our did. favorite. I didn't like it too much. That's because you're paraplegic now. Yeah. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, subscribe. We All that stuff really helps us out a bunch. We'll talk to you as well. So, you know, we're not one of those people who just says, hey, comment on my video and never hear from you again. Anyways, thanks for joining us. Fuck you, Steven. Bye-bye.